All right, all right. It is deadlifts day today and a bit of legs. And today I was lucky enough to pull a new personal burst, 345 kilos. Now, if you guys were already uh, following my journey, you would have noticed that last week I pulled a new PR, which was 332.5. But today, even bigger. So um, currently that's about 3.3 times my body weight, which is the heaviest in all time I've pulled. And in all honesty, I don't even think I'm going to, uh, program to 350 i think i'm already happy with 345 and i almost broke my hip for that like literally so that was a very intense weight and i'm just going through of course the warm-up process because you guys know i will show you how i warm up into it so something a little bit different here today um, with our warm-ups i decided to go plate by plate using the 25 kilos for those of you that are in america or another place that uses pounds it's 760 pounds deadlift so for me that was pretty exciting um i'm definitely happy with that and brings my total up by quite a lot too now 120 kilos on the bar friction on that hip extension now i want to tell you guys a little secret to deadlifting heavy especially when you sumo deadlift and your form and technique is always number one okay and i go through this while i'm deadlifting even while i am in my warm-up phase so there's different ways that you can actually set yourself up to pull. I like to set myself up already in a comfortable position and then bring my hips in to start the movement. Now, when I'm doing that, it looks like I'm just doing that, but that's not it. Okay, I'm going to rotate my elbows in. I'm going to decompress my scapula as well. Keep the upper back tight, so that's going to take most of the load. And then those are going to act as synergies. Now, synergies are basically muscles that aid with your lifts. So, my upper back becomes a synergist and then I start my movement to my actual hip drive. So my glutes and my, um, my sartorius muscles or my even abductor muscles basically become the main movers. They're the prime movers. Now there's a little bit of a rule in biomechanics where the joint that actually drive the weights, wherever muscles they're connected to, they're going to actually start your lift. And this was intense. Uh, this was my personal best. I literally fell to the ground straight after this. I was like, whoa, this is my last week of programming. So I've got um, some military presses here. Um, and yeah, it was really, really good. Just five reps, explosive. Um, now I hit my hip a little bit. I could feel my groin a little bit from deadlift. So I didn't want to go too heavy on the military press. Only 70 kilos. Um for the fives um again I'd, I'd always rather just take precaution that's always the best way to go about things so i didn't want to go too um crazy on it i was supposed to do front squats today but obviously i cut that out after um such a big deadlift and basically um hurt myself a little bit as well too so that's what i um i gotta address now that's my main focus now so uh yeah. this is my third set still on 70 kilos i wasn't increasing the weight i was just focusing on making sure my forming technique was right up there with these movements and this was fun really really easy to execute and i made the most of it while i was at it next up woo, some leg presses and i felt very weak today but i had to work with um whatever i had so my hips were really really bad um however it didn't stop me from doing my whole workout Okay, so I, I was I was like, you know what? It's only in the wider stance that I was feeling it. So in the closer stance, I was just going very nice, control, very, very lightweight. Nothing that could actually, if I felt any sort of pain, I would have stopped straight away. So I just tried to avoid it um, and just focus on getting a little bit of quad working, getting the other quads in, getting the opposing muscles working as well and strengthening it. Because now, most of the times, the reasons you also get a lot of injuries is because a lot of the antagonist muscles can't also take the load that you're doing or if your um if the opposite muscle fails then the other muscle has takes over so whatever is being um if you have one muscle stretching the other one is contracting okay now if your muscles overstretch the muscle that's contracting um has to take the load once everything goes backwards or vice versa if your muscles are over contracting and you can't hold on anymore you go back into a stretch and then that overload so i was just trying to basically work with what i've got Work, work with what I could at this point, um, which is comfortable, like nice and comfortable, but I could really, really feel the legs burn. And um, overall, I was happy. Like I was supposed to, I was going to go for a 340 kilos today. I actually said to everyone, look, I'm going to aim for a 340 kilos. We'll see how we go. Last week I did 332 and a half, and it wasn't honestly that hard. Today, when I reached 320 kilos, that felt easy. It did not feel like 
me lifting over 300 kilos. And that's why I actually made that big jump to 345. Now I posted this on my IG um, of me deadlifting and people were like, look, you should have done 350. But then with how much I struggled to lock out, I didn't think it was safe enough for me to play it up that high. I could have potentially done it. I probably would have injured myself a little bit more. <laughs> so um, altogether, for the trade-off, with that little bit of an injury, I'm honestly, I can honestly say I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, I'm on an extreme high right now because I, I've literally wanted this weight for a while. I actually said to myself that once I hit... Um, 350 kilos on deadlifts. I'm not going to deadlift 350 kilos anymore. I'm just going to be lifting 300 kilos, um, you know, every second week or something like that just for maintenance. Like I got nothing to prove to anyone. I've done the weights. I've got a video of it. Um, it's just one of those personal goals. It's not for ego or anything. It's just, you know, when you have those personal goals where you just, you want to test your strength, you want to test your capabilities, you want to test where it goes. But personally, I just don't think it's a weight that, um, a normal human being should be lifting like you know the funny thing is i'm lifting 300 and 40 close to 350 you had four who lifted 150 kilos more you know throw and eddie that did that so obviously these guys are crazy humans i'm not at their level for my body weight i'm pretty happy with that you know like i honestly wouldn't complain um with what i've got and i'm lucky to be pulling that and still alive so i count my blessings daily and i think like it's important for you to set goals um you don't have to set goals like that where it's like 3.3 times your body weight or anything crazy like that it's just me that's being very stubborn and i like to set big strength goals because for me i thrive off of those like i really thrive off of it i still got unfinished business with my um with my bench press and my squat so um a little bit of a um, backstory on my squat there, which is actually the video you guys watched just before, was um, I was talking about injuries and injury preventions. And I also talked about, like, I felt my hip slightly in that, okay? Now, it was actually my left hip that I felt then. This was my right groin. It wasn't actually, my, so it's got nothing to do with it. My left hip was perfectly fine. Um, with this now another reason i could have probably got this injury was because my left hip probably wasn't firing up enough for this so then it pulled all the pressure onto my right hand side and my right hand side had to take all the tension and the pressure on there so look understandable but i tried to make sure that i was perfect in the sense of my had no hip pain um nothing before i actually deadlifted today so for me this was it was very um it was very different you know like um getting them for these deadlifts getting them for these um and also, one of the things that was going very well for me in this program was deadlift. So that is why I was going to squat 280 kilos. Honestly, I think I could have done it easily. But I just said, at what cost? Like, if I injured myself on my my squat day and I didn't get that 280 kilos, um, then I definitely wasn't going for a PR on deadlifts. Deadlifts was one of my main ones I really wanted to get a, dead, a um, PR on. Now, this is me just being completely honest. I wouldn't recommend anyone to do it. This is just me being stubborn. Um, and it's just the way my mind works at the end of the day. You know, like I said, I'm always very transparent with you guys. But I also tell you, look, this is not very, very smart to be doing. If you guys feel like I didn't, I felt good today. So it's not like I knew there was an injury coming upon. upon. It was very a light injury, but I did not know this was come, coming upon. But I'll be honest with you. Because of like my experience with training and deadlifts, and I, when I struggled to lock out, I went for an explosive um, push with my hips, and I was in control then. I knew it was going to come at a cost. Like I, I literally knew it. So even though I did, I still did it. So very silly of me, some may say, but in all honesty, I just had that goal, and I really, really wanted to achieve that goal. And I don't know, some of like... It's only certain people that will understand that um, and everyone's got their right and their opinion. Look, you might think it's silly, um, but I was ready for that trade-off as well too. So for me, my back is fully intact. No issues with my back. I didn't feel anything. When I did, that's one of the biggest reasons I actually deadlift sumo because uh, deadlift is pretty, is pretty breathless on, you, on your back as well too, you know, and right now, obviously on my hips, but I know how important my spine is for me. So like, when I first deadlifted 330 kilos, I literally felt no tension on my back at all. Like, my upper back was the main thing, and my lats have held up pretty fine, but I've never felt anything on my lower back. My discs, yeah, 
perfectly fine and I don't plan to, you know, I'm not going to be, like I said, this is going to be probably the last time you guys are probably ever going to see me deadlift this heavyweight unless something changes and I'm like, look, I hit 345, maybe it's time to get 350, <laughs> um, but that might not happen, so uh, yeah, it's exciting times for me, I'm pretty excited, I'm pretty happy with this, and guys, daily uploads, okay, don't forget to turn on post notifications and subscribe, your boy is out, thanks again for coming, peace.